please welcome actress in a supporting role, Divine Joy Randolph, The Holdovers. Number 335 in the front and 296 on deck. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah, 350. <laughs> um, Jason from Sky News UK. Um, first, what I wanted to ask you was, um, this is a tough industry. It's hard to make it in. Uh, your speech was really interesting. I, I wanted to ask you, what does it mean for you for your mental health and emotional well-being having this kind of uh, affirmation, if you like, in the industry? An affirmation. A confirmation of your, of, of your skill. Oh, what does it do for my mental health? I mean, I think you'd be selling yourself short if you make it about the awards. It's too hard of a career. The beautiful thing and the hard thing about being an actor is that it requires you to have resilience and self-confidence and belief in yourself when no one else does. When you're constantly getting no's and you're saying, nope, I'm gonna keep going. So actually in many ways, while it can challenge your mental health, it, often, it also can strengthen it because you have to fortify yourself in a way that some people never ever have to do. Um, so for that, I'm grateful. I would say also, you know, you just keep yourself grounded surrounded by people who care and love you and stay close to what's real. Um, and again, I'm just very adamant about uh, it would not be on your heart if you weren't meant to do it. Um, and I know it can be challenging to wait that weight, um, but when it happens, it's a full circle moment and you know it was worth it. 296 with 110 on deck. No. Okay. Hi, Mariel Turner with the Grio. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. You mentioned in your speech that you felt that you always wanted to be different and now you feel you can be yourself. How does it feel for you to have that realization that you are enough as is? I knew I was always different. And so therefore I thought maybe I needed to conform to something else because when I looked at this show for many years as I was growing up, I didn't necessarily see myself there yet that was the model of success. So I was on this journey of trying to figure out how I could mold myself to that because I thought that's what success would mean and what I have begun to find in my journey is that in being myself and doing the work and staying focused and driven and clear, I could do exactly the same thing whilst being myself. We're gonna go to number 110 next. Right here. In the back to your right. Hi. Hi, Tanya Hart, American Urban Radio Networks. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I was a girl growing up in Roxbury when this movie, the oh, wow. time period. Okay, mm -hmm. you nailed it. You got Thank those you. women that have never been seen. I want yeah. you to know that. Thank you. But what moment stands out for you during this whole award season? Because you've won, I think, 57 of them so far. <laughs> <laughs> what moment stands out? Um, I think the biggest thing is the camaraderie. I didn't know what to expect. You know, I, I didn't know if this was going to be a doggy dog thing, if it would be like, you know, really aggressive. And what's been so beautiful is having this relationship with people that are going through the same thing with you, a support system that you can rely on and the friends that I've made because of it. We're now going to our virtual questions. If you can look at the camera, we're going to Arise News. Okay. Go ahead, Arise. Congratulations, Devine Joy Randolph, Arise News, Catchy Ophia speaking. My question for you has to do with your speech. You spoke extensively on how several people, including your teacher, your mom, just pushing you, helping you, enabled you get to this point in your career. Yes. As a black actress who's spoken severally on just the importance of being seen, how important is it to constantly pay it forward? It's imperative because, because of the people who've done it before me allow me to be in this position now. And so the type of work I do, my strive for authenticity, for quality, allows there to be a new standard set where we can tell universal stories in black and brown bodies and it can be accepted and enjoyed amongst the masses. That it's not just black TV or black movies for black people, but instead a universal uh, performance that can be enjoyed by all. We're gonna now next go to Chatty Passenger. Lavetta, please go ahead now. This is still viral? Yes, correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, I'm Lovetta Jenkins of ChattyPassenger.com. Hi. First of all, congratulations. You Thank look you. Thank you. I have a question for you. I often carry mementos from loved ones who have gone on with me. How important to you was that to have your grandmother's glasses with you mm. in this movie? Um, it was crucial. I knew that this was going to be a difficult uh, role for me to take on and that it was gonna require a lot of vulnerability from me. Uh, and I knew that she was just someone in my life that would allow me to get right back to the center. And there was many women. Uh, I did a lot of research and did little subliminal messages, if you will, with hairdos and details and accessories beyond the glasses, giving homage to women from the Jeffersons, Phyllis Hyman, stuff like that, so that I included all of these women uh, who've impressionized me, um, and so that people that knew, knew, uh, and that meant a lot, because it felt like a love letter back to black women. Final question, number 216, the back of the room, center. Good evening, Tavine. Good I evening. I'm Laverne Grant with blackinamerica.com. Congratulations on your best supporting Thank actress you. win tonight for the holdovers. I've been holding space for you for quite some time. I'm from what is called a blighted city, Chester, Pennsylvania, right outside of your hometown of Philadelphia. Would you talk to me a little bit about how you can encourage creatives from underserved communities to stay the course? Um, due to being an un deserved and underserved communities, the beautiful thing that erupts is your imagination and your creativity because you don't have much. And so you have this innate ability to create. That's a gift. And that's something that will serve you that when you then do have the resources, it's easy. Something that I think we as black people are very good at is making a lot out of very little. And I think that's a superpower and something that we should applaud ourselves for and uplift ourselves. So there's nothing that's never too little. It's always just enough. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you much, so everyone. Much. Thank you.